Good morning and welcome. We are on exercise one, observing the self by the self. And we were on step three, going on to step four. So yesterday we were talking about how in our interactions with others, a lot of times we have, even among our loved ones, interactions which are unpleasant, which are something that we are not comfortable with. And we go to discuss something and it ends up in arguments. So are we seeing our feeling at that moment when these discussions are becoming ugly arguments? So we talked of, you know, recalling such incidents, even if we are not able to see at the time of the incident, if we recall that incident and try to take a step back and look at that incident again, can we see our feeling? Can we see if we are comfortable or uncomfortable inside? Can we keep observing our imagination? Um, so if anybody has any sharings or questions regarding that, we will take those. First, in case of my spouse, there was a little misunderstanding regarding some information uh, with regard to dropping her in, in her office. Uh, I, I was under the impression that will be dropped by, by, by my son, not me, because I am preoccupied with other work. But anyway, last moment, I had to drop her. And uh, the, in, while doing this, I have not reacted, but there was something inside me uh, which was not comfortable. But uh, next moment, uh, I... Um, observed myself, the, the activity inside. And uh, I found that something came to my, came within and I was uh, calm and quiet. I didn't interact, but I did the work. In the second, uh, it was with my brother who is staying outside. There was a court case and uh, I had to take him to the, um, advocate and it was uh, 10 10 a.m in the morning and um, but, but I, I waited there some some place place, place but he was late I was very much irritative in my within but still I thought that uh, why to give go for argument it will take more time it will uh, even be more late. So I kept quiet and things went on. <clears throat> and with my son, who was uh, also um, not obeying my, my whatever I told, and um, he was a type of uh, moody person. And uh, till I also I tried to manage. But in all the cases, I want to say that uh, <clears throat> something I called for, uh, and that is something what it, I cannot say, but um, I could keep myself uh, calm and quiet, uh, doing the work all with peacefully. And uh, it, it was managed, uh, overall it was managed, and I was little disturbed but not much. That was my feeling regarding the last day, my immediate family. Yeah. See, um, if we notice, you know, our focus is again mostly largely on the activities. So the activities get managed. Certainly outside, you know, the situation gets managed. We don't 
you know no volcano has erupted or <laughs> no yeah. major disturbance like that has happened outside and so we are able to manage like how you say the word manage so is there a better method can there be a possibility of no irritation inside when we say we didn't react there may not be reaction outside but if we have irritation inside we are reacting inside and it doesn't feel comfortable like you yourself mentioned yes. you don't feel comfortable within yes so ultimately as we go along in the exercises we will see how we can be comfortable and then go about doing what we are doing in the activities and we will find a world of difference in the two yeah yeah so it is enough right now to observe that feeling that you are having inside for the other when the other is not doing things the way you would want them to do or when things are not going according to your plan or what you thought should happen not you personally i mean i'm saying in general for all of us so there we do manage in situations and we have been managing but very often you will find these kind of incidents and in fact all incidents whatever we are thinking that impression gets left behind in us and that impression doesn't go anywhere it's there within us and from time to time it may surface even though the incident is over it is past it is gone yet it disturbs us again and again each time we think about it again that disturbance crops up and again we feel uncomfortable unhappy so we'll be talking about how we can resolve it because until and unless we resolve these situations resolve the the disturbance within us see even though the dis- situation outside we may not have control over but inside us that disturbance within if we can not have that certainly it would be much nicer isn't it yes. so our focus will be there yeah one thing one thing i observed that initially the irritation mm-hmm. the, it was uh, passive had mm-hmm. later on and yes. uh, what happened exactly i wanted to know but <laughs> yeah probably you reflected on it you may not be consciously aware of it but you know all the things that we are talking about thinking about you know that um, clarity of what exactly happened you will get as you you go along with the observation you will be able to very clearly pick up the feeling and very clearly observe that you observe the feeling and then you will be clearly able to see where you have see one is a non acceptance of something and then another is the acceptance of it so when we don't accept something whether it be within ourselves some some uh, feeling or some um disturbance it is because of that non acceptance but when we are uh, even if we are you know seeing on the outside many things don't happen according to us and that also causes some disturbance so when we are able to see that and reflect on it and accept it no matter in what way it may be by believing something it may be by um you know referring to our natural acceptance or whichever way we find we sometimes can switch to an acceptance of the situation and then we feel comfortable so it is enough to notice that the situation didn't change but your level of comfort inside 
was different, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So you can keep it at that, but ultimately this is what is happening. Somewhere we are, uh, you know, whatever we are hearing or whatever we are going through, that is affecting our decisions, our um, in our interactions, we are able to refer to that. Ultimately, we are seeing the feeling that we are uncomfortable and we don't want to be in that situation. So we try to come out of it. Earlier, we were not observing. Now we are observing. Even if we are not observing immediately, we are observing soon after that. Sometimes some for some people it will be after the outburst has happened and everything has happened and you recall the incident. For some it will be earlier than that. Like you start to have the irritation and then you become aware of the unpleasant feeling within yeah. you. And so you are able to change that. You are able to accept. Isn't it? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll consciously do this with, you know, step by step and we'll see what exactly is happening there. Yeah. Nice. Yes. So maybe we can uh, go to the next slide. Yes. So we coming to step four. We asked this question yesterday briefly um, when we were closing. But this question of where is this feeling coming from? Who is deciding this feeling? So in step one, we became aware of the feeling at, that we have at any moment. And in steps two and three, we evaluate this feeling and its impact. And we are able to see that it is our feeling that leads to happiness or unhappiness within us. So the question is, who is taking the decision for this feeling, which is the cause of my happiness or unhappiness? Ask this question to yourself. Who is taking the decision for the feeling? Is it some external physical condition? Is it the other person, some other human being? Or is it I myself? So what do you think? What is happening? Who is responsible? Who is the one that is deciding the feeling that I have at any moment? So Chandrakalaji is saying myself. We can all try to look at this within ourselves. So sometimes you may feel that you were fine. Nirmalaji is also saying ourselves. Sometimes you will find that you are perfectly calm, comfortable. And some situation happens, somebody comes, says something, and now there is disturbance in you. So there also, try to see who is the one who is taking the decision for this feeling. Is it you or is it the other person? So you'll find that the, the other person or the situation outside, <laughs> the other person, outside can be like a trigger which can you know be the cause for this happening within but ultimately who is deciding the feeling and the thoughts it is me myself it's not coming from somewhere outside it is I who is deciding this. So anybody feels that 
it is otherwise, then we can discuss that. If you feel that a lot of times it may seem like the other is responsible for my unhappiness, the other led to this feeling in me. If you feel that way, we can discuss that also now. You can raise your hand and we can have the discussion. Try to see, you know, what is happening within. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, for that also, we are responsible. That means uh, the feeling is created by myself mm -hmm. in that incident. Uh, but the problem is when we are not done a mistake, we are not done any mistake. If somebody is uh, done the allegation about us, uh, that time uh, we uh, we cannot uh, accept that uh, allegation they made. Uh, that mistake is not done by us, but uh, simply they are done. Uh, they are uh, they make an allegation about uh, me or maybe us. By that time we are disturbed, ma'am. We cannot avoid uh, till that time, uh, even though we are listening uh, your things, what you are discussing, we know it uh, 100%. We should not, but uh, we are not reached that state. I, I feel personally, I didn't reach that state. Yeah. Not to disturb. See, we know the things cannot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. See, the whole thing is mm -hmm. about how we look at it. Like mm -hmm. some situation mm -hmm. like this happens mm -hmm. somebody says something in a harsh tone yeah the first thing we do is we recoil mm -hmm. we think mm -hmm. how how he is speaking to me mm -hmm. why he should speak like this i didn't do any mistake what is my mm -hmm. fault in this we mm -hmm. are seeing our perspective mm -hmm. and we think that the other person is attacking us isn't it? Yeah, ma'am. Just look at it from a slightly different perspective. Mm -hmm. Supposing the other person is disturbed. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think of that situation? The other person is unhappy, he is disturbed, mm -hmm. he is uh, uncomfortable inside, and he doesn't know how to deal with the situation. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he's shouting. Mm -hmm. Now the whole picture has changed, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> now, now you don't get angry. You feel mm -hmm. some sort of, you know, sympathy, mm -hmm. compassion for the other person. Mm -hmm. Situation is same, mm -hmm. isn't it? He shouted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How I look at it mm -hmm. makes a difference, isn't it? Yeah. So if I look in a very narrow way only at myself, then mm -hmm. I see one picture. Mm -hmm. But if I include the other person also and a mm -hmm. broader view of mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. now the picture may change. Mm -hmm. What has changed is my interpretation of what happened. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So slowly you will find that this interpretation may not be based on what is real. It may be based on something that I am believing about the whole situation. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So ultimately, mm -hmm. we have to see what is the reality in all of that. Mm -hmm. What is actually happening and how mm -hmm. much I am making out of it. Isn't mm -hmm. it? So as we do the exercises mm -hmm. further, we'll see this in detail. How we give mm -hmm. certain meanings to some things mm -hmm. based on our past experience or based on something that we have heard about mm -hmm. the other person or so many things. You know? mm -hmm. we, we start mm -hmm. believing something about the others mm -hmm. and then it disturbs us. But mm -hmm. ultimately, who is responsible for that? It is my interpretation, isn't it? Yeah. Somebody else may interpret it differently. But uh, myself, I know that 
what i am what i did mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. that should we realize ourselves uh, yeah. actually uh, does it change uh, that when somebody shouts uh-huh. and says something mm-hmm. does it change me mm-hmm. as a person or does it change what i did it doesn't no mm-hmm. so why do i need that um, mm-hmm. you know stamp from the other person that i have done the right thing mm, i agree yeah. that sometimes there are situations where it impacts us yeah and there again you know we don't go for discussion because of this disturbance within so we mm. continue with the disturbance but we don't express mm. it outside or we try not to express mm. it outside mm. so that we can manage the condition the condition gets managed mm-hmm. we have avoided the outburst and we live with it mm-hmm. thinking that that's the best solution mm-hmm. but the disturbance inside that is not resolved mm-hmm. isn't it mm-hmm. so the next time you may just see that person he has not done anything yet the moment mm-hmm. you see again this disturbance comes up within comes yeah yeah again you are feeling that emotion mm. again you are becoming unhappy disturbed now nothing mm. happened now that mm. person didn't even say something sometimes you don't even have to see him you just think yeah. of it and again mm. the disturbance yeah. comes up yeah. isn't it yeah so ultimately you know mm. we can have a better way to live than mm. if i am you know deciding my feeling you are saying we know all that we know i am deciding my feeling mm-hmm. okay outside situation i may not be able to do the best i can but right. within my state at least i should have it the way i want it isn't it mm-hmm. i don't want this unhappiness yet i am having this unhappiness mm-hmm. and you know until and unless we looked at it we kept thinking the other person is responsible for this mm mm-hmm. yeah all because of you my mm. mood is like this mm. Mm. so as long as we keep doing that mm. as long as we keep blaming somebody else for it mm. how will we be able to resolve it mm. because the other also can't see this mm. and the other is blaming us for something else mm. so when it comes to trying to talk about it mm-hmm. obviously there is going to be an argument yes i will put my picture the way mm-hmm. i see it the other person will put mm-hmm. their picture the way they see it mm-hmm. but what is real in this most mm-hmm. of it is just assumptions we have believed something mm-hmm. so we put that forward they also put that forward yeah and now you are at a stand still and you say we can't really understand each other it is very mm. difficult so you avoid an unpleasant interaction again and again and again but that mm. resentment inside keeps building up no yes so that is yes. causing a lot of unhappiness yeah so yes to get out of that yes mm. true yeah good morning to you good morning uh didi uh, what i want to uh, say is or you can say the doubt are these desire thought expectations and feelings they are varying with age and as well as situation you see for yourself see what desire you had as a child right what feelings you had today yesterday day before you will find them changing isn't it yes yes definitely yeah thoughts also will keep changing you will notice that every desire you have is associated with some feeling yes isn't it and this feeling will keep changing based on many things at some time you feel a certain way at another time you know it may be related to the outside may be triggering the situation 
but your feeling changes one moment you are coming home from work everything is fine you are very happy and all is fine and you come home and you are very hungry and you are waiting to eat and the food is not ready like amul ji was sharing the other day now the feeling changes happens isn't it yes yes it surely yes yeah. definitely so there also we need to see is the situation responsible for my feeling who decided to change the feeling the situation made it happen or did i decide the feeling yeah maybe situation triggered and i felt yeah so the situation can only trigger it no ultimately i can decide my feeling yes ultimately decision is taken by the self yes and imagine i don't want it and i'm still deciding that <laughs> feeling isn't it yeah. situation outside okay the food is not prepared somebody else was not able to prepare in time now the situation has come before me now what it's either to react ha huh? either to react or to just uh, be patient with this situation yeah so in both situations you can try to see where you feel comfortable isn't it yeah if we don't have the right feeling and we control ourselves control our reaction then yeah. there will still be disturbance inside uncomfortable ah you will be uncomfortable although the situation outside you are trying to manage you are trying to not react but inside what will you do with the volcano inside a lot of disturbance yes <laughs> yeah yeah okay yes. so we have to resolve that until and unless we resolve that outside we manage we have been managing many times yes. but until and unless we resolve the inside that disturbance within will not go away that leaves that impression and next time you come supposing food is not ready again again you will recall this incident again and it will compound that next time you may not be that hungry also maybe you are just come home and you could have waited for half an hour easily for food but seeing food is not ready that is enough to start that disturbance reaction uncomfortableness inside isn't it yes definitely. now it was not even the hunger now it was something else it was the past impression that has triggered this feeling in you isn't it yeah even in even though there is a present situation and past impression is also may yes. disturb certainly so many times it happens the incident is over finished gone but i recall the incident within me and i feel disturbed isn't it, it happens so many times right definitely yeah so now even if i thought that the other triggered it now who triggered it it was me myself isn't it yes surely yeah so whatever we are seeing hearing whatever we are you know witnessing these are you know whatever we whatever feeling we have based on the situation outside all of this all this is leaving some impression within us so until we resolve those things those impressions will keep coming up again and again as and when you know the situation arises or when we consider it when we bring it up isn't it yes yeah thank thank you thank you very much for your clarification
i mean i have observed uh, in my case is like sometimes i am very centered so same situation like let's take this situation like uh, you know uh, i am uh, triggered by the uh, food is not available now mm. and then there is a feeling of discomfort mm. or something but discomfort then you can choose i mean if you are in the right state of mind or having i mean in our language like if you have right understanding then you know that okay my family members they have got engaged into something it's not intentional Mm-hmm. now this is the situation mm-hmm. now i can take something which is available there mm-hmm. and uh, because of hungry because of this sensation i am uncomfortable mm-hmm. but uh, so is this pointing towards this uh, you know yeah we we are responsible for our feelings in some sense but um, but because of our rootedness in the right understanding because sometimes we go to this level that um, i mean the imagination starts now um, like uh, suppose i am not centered and then i become uncomfortable or disturbed then my imagination starts i started judging people like always they are not you know um, they are why they are not keen Mm. they are not keen because it has not reached them that my i mean it's my need to be you know uh, it's my real need is not been communicated or not been understood or taken seriously and then you go into imagination and the tree of expectation and all that mm. and then then the vis- <coughs> vicious circle <coughs> uh, happens i mean yeah. but sometimes you are very very centered you you can see that yeah this is happening and at that very moment you it's something you feel comfortable and the whole vicious cycle is into a virtuous cycle so how how we can be rooted in this you know yeah. right understanding yes so that we can there are two questions one is by sharpening your observation towards seeing the mm-hmm. shift happening that is mm-hmm. one thing mm-hmm. and second is while it is happening being rooted in the right understanding so how what yeah. you can do to do that yeah in fact the two things that you are mentioning are basically the same thing because as we you know keep observing initially it happens that we observe after the event lot of times hmm. when the reaction has already happened yeah and uh, so when we recall the incident we observe that you know i did not need to react and so i am able to see that it was not naturally acceptable and i had this kind of feeling now as we keep doing this you will find that this ability to observe seems to get sharper not that we can't observe our competence is lacking so we have that um potential within each one of us it's just that we haven't been paying attention to it we have been looking outside and we mm. have been blaming the other person for our unhappiness so when we think we already know that the other person is responsible we don't look for anything further we just blame the other person and so it goes that's how it's been happening so when you start observing and you notice that you know this could have been the issue or the person may not have been may not have had time did i even find out what was the other person's day like because i only see things from my perspective isn't it mm-hmm. i don't see what the other person has gone through yeah so when i do that when i recall and i try to see things from the other's perspective then i start feeling that there was no need to make such a scene i could have just 
you know something yeah. was there to eat i could have eaten i could have helped the other person i could have waited few minutes how much yeah. difference would it make and so when we reason out and we um sort of recall the incident you will notice that a lot of times you are already in a better state yes when you are recalling this and therefore your thoughts and all of those go along with the reasoning out of why the other person may have gotten delayed and uh, so now you see a different picture now situation is different so next time it happens you may be able to observe this earlier than the last time yes and each time you keep observing you will notice that you may be able to do this earlier and earlier and yes. a time will come when you will notice that as soon as that irritation is just building up within you have not said anything outside you have not done anything soon as that irritation starts within you you are able to observe it because now you have been practicing observing you observe it and you immediately remember you realize and you sort of um you know are able to see the other's perspective now the whole thing changes now the thoughts start flowing in that direction now the disturbance just settles down and you are calm situation outside has not changed hmm but your state has changed and you realize that it was not the situation really it was your state that was bothering you so many times mm. it happens we think we are so hungry and this is responsible for my disturbance no but that mm. same moment if some important call comes we forget about the food and we just take the call and we might spend half an hour talking on the important Absol- call and we have forgotten that we were hungry absolutely absolutely yeah. and many important times we remain hungry for a day and you know accomplish yeah. something or i mean i mean yeah so it's not it's not that yeah it's not that so it's it's what takes precedence in your i mean at that time yeah and whether you are uh, comfortable with that so what your self is occupied with in some sense because if you are like there is a feverishness for you know eating food or sitting something we attach it to the food probably yeah i mean but there you is this you notice this many times things. you notice yeah. this many times that it is time for lunch i look at the time and i start feeling hungry yeah i may not have thought about it till then but i see the time and i say oh it's time for food i'm hungry let me eat something yeah but the day you decide like you said you know you can stay hungry for the whole day the day you decide in the beginning of the day that today i have to have a fast or you may have decided earlier only that yeah. tomorrow i am going to keep a fast i will not eat now Did with that decision hmm. now what happens to that hunger situation is you know that it is building up the body has no food today yeah. but i have taken the decision hmm so yes. then i am able to go through the whole day without getting disturbed yes yeah so that's that's the uh, so it's that we decide that is for yeah. sure i mean mm-hmm. i mean i can recall this incidences such incidences that you know i will not eat till i complete this or something like that yeah have done and you are happy at the end of the thing i mean it's not the feeling is of happiness not of discomfort yes. but so many times we go to this mixed feeling also in some sense i mentioned you last time that um you have not completely resolved it's been partially resolved and there is this confusion or you i i am taking actions because i know yeah because so each time you observe this even after effect it kind of builds your muscle for um, for the next observation and next understanding or it's a 
add a bit to your understanding and um, but the idea here is are you referring to that understanding also i mean at the moment um, right i mean um, can you i mean you so we have all these past experiences we have reflected like devi prasad ji also said and so he could deal with this because of uh, understanding from the past reflection probably but not all times we uh, can refer to that understanding and sometimes it possesses our ability to take control or feel comfortable or something like that yeah see um i wouldn't say refer to the understanding i would say refer to the natural acceptance like acceptance okay yeah because uh if i have understood i have already taken reference of the natural acceptance i have understood then this reaction will not happen at all isn't it yeah so somewhere um i have not yet understood and i am getting swayed by my past impressions or you know my assumptions so many things but yes. i am not referring to the natural acceptance mm. so when i refer to keep referring to the natural acceptance again and again and again slowly this what you are calling you know being centered mm. this becomes the norm for me eventually at some point yeah but till that happens you will find that there will be times when you keep moving shifting back and forth back and forth true but the the, the important thing is we keep observing we are able to see this disturbance and then the change to that non disturbance and when we can see this feeling within we can see that itself becomes a motivation to go forward because now you can see that my feeling is in mm. my control yes so it mm. is very liberating yeah so now we were thinking that the other person is responsible then you are at the mercy of the other person yes absolutely so we have yeah. to keep keep watching working on it observing and then you will find that it becomes smoother easier yeah. i experimented another way also like um, uh, suppose i have some work i have decided to do that but i feel like you know taking a break doing certain things i mean see watch something for entertainment or watch some inter- interesting serial and so if i allow myself to do that like and see observe whether i feel comfortable at the end um at the end or while taking you know natural acceptance and all that so still i feel that it is unresolved i mean unresolved in the sense i don't feel comfortable by just watching the entertainment yeah. series true yeah. because you are taking in some input but yes. you are not processing things inside you Certainly. so that can be a distraction for some time once that distraction is over again what are we going to do the thoughts and the feelings are within us you can't escape that yeah so we have to resolve it inside certainly yes thank you didi thank you thank you uh some more hands are raised but uh, i think couple of things one is i wanted to go a little further in the slides and also we didn't do a 10 minute observation but we'll go forward on the slide yes so you will notice that it is i the self who is deciding the feeling and the thought that i have at any moment the other human being or the situation outside may act as a trigger it may help to draw my attention to it but ultimately it is i who is taking the decision the self and on the basis of my feeling and thought i am either happy or unhappy so i am responsible for my happiness or unhappiness if i observe this over a period of time i'll be able to see that i am 100% responsible for my happiness and unhappiness 
it may seem at some point partly me partly the other but if we keep observing we will find that we are 100% responsible because no matter what the situation outside i have the liberty to have the feeling that i want that is the biggest sort of liberation or freedom it is a very big step this change this shift within this changes everything for me even though the situation outside has not changed so this i need to be able to see this so if we can just take a few minutes now i'll um, mute myself here we'll try to observe the imagination within the feelings and try to see the feeling am i deciding this feeling am i responsible for this feeling am i having this happiness within or unhappiness within all of this we will try to observe for the next few minutes and then we'll come back to discussing it yes so we have been observing not quite for 10 minutes maybe 7 minutes or so um but in the interest of time we'll just uh, go over some observations if anybody has any sharing or doubt we'll go over that otherwise we'll move forward a little bit we have few minutes left before the english session ends yes so when we make this observation that i am the one who is responsible i am the one who is deciding the feeling then we are able to draw two important conclusions firstly i become willing to take responsibility for my own development for my own transformation before that i was not even thinking about transforming or self developing because i thought the other is the problem i am okay there is no problem here so that is one thing that i am able to see that i can work on myself i can take responsibility and make effort for my own development the second thing that will happen is you will find that you stop complaining about others because now you can see that all this that i thought was responsible for my unhappiness is not really the cause for my unhappiness what is causing this unhappiness is my own feeling and that is up to me to work on to have the right feeling what the other is doing is just something that is triggering my own you know or drawing attention to my own incompetence so then i stop complaining about others then i start working on myself i start seeing what is my role what is my participation what do i need to do about this so previously i may have thought that the other human beings or situations outside are responsible for my unhappiness so i had complaints about them i wanted them to change i wanted them to improve i never thought that i am responsible for my unhappiness so i didn't feel the need to change myself or to transform myself because i thought i am okay the problem is with the other so i wanted the other to change but the other was also in the same boat wanting me to change and nobody is willing to change so no no change can happen no transformation will take place and so we keep having that you know we want to not have a fight but we end up arguing this keeps happening again and again and again yes amul ji is saying 
other is acting as a trigger to throw light on my own incompetence. That is true. So, if I can work on my own competence, then I need not get so impacted by the other's situation, the other's expression of his state, right? I can work on myself. And when I work on myself, I realize that it is up to me, this disturbance or comfort within, that is something that I can control, I can have, take charge of, be responsible for. So that is a major shift and a major step in this feeling of being liberated. Because then the situation outside is no longer causing problems for us. Now we can see that the problem was never the situation outside. The problem was always my state, which is up to me and I could not see it. Now that I see it, I can start working on it. So today, all day, I think what we can try to observe for within us is that in all our interactions, especially in unpleasant interactions, not only do you want to see the feeling inside and see what kind of feeling you are having, but also ask this question, who is responsible for this feeling that I am having? Is it the person outside or is it me? And you may have many interactions at work, in the, in the office, in, at home, even in interactions outside with so many different people that we interact. So let us do this for today and we will discuss your observations tomorrow.